Thanks for joining us today. I'm Cody Holnyoke. We are closely watching news that affects millions of American girls and women, potentially for generations to come. The bombshell leak of a Supreme Court draft decision on abortion is sending shockwaves across the country right now. Politico published a leaked copy of a draft majority ruling from Justice Samuel Alito calling for the landmark abortion rights decision from Roe v. Wade to be overturned as part of another case before the court, a decision granting protections for nearly half a century. Chief Justice Justice confirmed the draft is authentic, but stresses it's not a final decision. Still, there is a growing fear from millions of Americans that this could be the generation when girls and women have fewer rights than their parents or grandparents. The next generation shouldn't have fewer rights than ours. And I'm ready to fight like hell to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, leaders of Democrat-run states like Illinois are working quickly to expand access to abortion, while Republican-led states like Louisiana are doing the opposite. In fact, lawmakers in Louisiana are crafting a bill that would charge women who get an abortion with murder. Again, the decision hasn't officially been made yet, but it begs the question, how will this affect abortion in our two states? Really, it depends on where you live. Let's start in Kansas, where despite several restrictions in place, abortion would stay legal, at least for now. That's thanks to a 2019 Kansas Supreme Court ruling. But in August, voters will decide on a constitutional amendment that could remove state protections. More on that later. Missouri is very different. In fact, Republican state lawmakers planned for this when they passed a law in 2019 banning most abortions, a move mostly blocked by a judge. The law would also ban other measures like Plan B pills and IUDs. And politicians built what's called a trigger provision into the measure, banning nearly all abortions if Roe is overturned. Legal experts are watching this closely. If uh, an opinion like this draft is issued by the court, the Missouri trigger law will go into effect. As a practical matter, it means it will be very difficult to get an abortion, except in very extreme circumstances in Missouri. Now, in all, 13 states have trigger bans on the books ready to go if the high court reverses Roe v. Wade. That's not counting 13 other states poised to ban abortion if this draft ruling holds. Again, these are major implications we've discussed here on the program with a national political reporter watching these issues. Given the gravity of what's been happening, we decided to have her back. Please welcome back to our program, Caroline Kitchener of The Washington Post. Caroline, thanks for joining us again. We knew a decision was coming when last we spoke. And again, nothing is final here, but this is a major development. Oh, it absolutely is. I mean, I, I no one expected it to happen this way. I think a lot of my sources were expecting Roe to at least be significantly weakened. But this is really striking on multiple fronts. I mean, this is a full-throated reversal of a long-standing precedent row that has protected the right to abortion in this country for almost 50 years. I mean, that's a, that's, that's a huge development. And then, you know, second of all, the, the manner in which this came to light, I mean, it was nearly unprecedented to, to have a full draft of a Supreme Court opinion before the court issues its ruling. It, it, it just, you know, I, I, I called sources as soon as I saw on, on both sides, just no one knew what to say, you know, it was just um, shock. For sure. And we're going to talk about this a little bit later on our program. Democrats so focus solely on the decision. Republicans are focusing on the leak. Does anything change because of this leak? What are you hearing? Well, I mean, I think one significant thing for abortion clinics is that, you know, especially in these trigger ban states that you mentioned where abortion is going to be illegal right away, they have time to plan for that. I mean, they know that this is coming and they now can, you know, put some plans in the works. Um, there already were plans in the works, but now, you know, they know for sure that this is coming down the pike. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know sort of what, what, what else it, 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 it changes. I, I do think it's really striking that you've seen Republicans focus on this leak. Um, you, you have seen, you know, some activist groups on the abortion rights side coming out and saying, you know, look, we've still got time to change this. It's a draft. Let's show them. Let's show up in the streets. Um, you know, we can get the court to change its mind. I, I don't know how realistic that is. I would say, you know, in my, in my opinion, based on what I know, that that's not particularly likely, but that's what the abortion rights groups are saying. And, and you really have folks on the other side saying, you know, hold up a minute, like this is, you know, this is not okay that it was leaked in this way. And, and the Supreme Court really should come out with, 
its official ruling as soon as possible. Sure. I, I've had a lot of viewers reach out and ask me, OK, if Roe v. Wade is overturned, what then? And I know that's a loaded question, but certainly worthy of thought. Uh, does this mean people who first off could uh, even afford it will scramble the states that, that pledge to maintain access to abortions? What are the repercussions here? you're going to see people flooding into blue states. I mean, especially in a state like Missouri, uh, there are, you know, clinics um, right on the southern border of Illinois, right across the border from Missouri, and you are going to see people just flooding there. Um, you know, the, the Planned Parenthood there, they're estimating that they will see 14,000 patients coming in from other states if Roe is overturned. So, you know, you're going to see a, you know, a, a migration of abortion patients, you know, but I, I think it's really important to note that not everybody can do that kind of travel. That's expensive, you know, hotels, transportation, childcare, you know, that, that, that not everybody is going to be able to make that happen. It certainly changes the landscape. You know, we've heard a lot in the last week or so about this new Washington Post ABC News poll showing seven in 10 Americans say the decision to have an abortion should be left up to a pregnant woman and her doctor. I think what was striking to me was another poll you did showing six in 10 people didn't know politicians in their own states are actively passing new abortion restrictions. As you've been reporting for months and years, the writing's been on the wall for a while. Why didn't people see that? That really stuck out to me, too. I mean, I think you know, I, I guess it's a it's a matter of coverage, how much coverage there is now. I think the big question is, you know, everybody has been covering this story of this leaked opinion. And so you know, the question is now, does that number change? Do more people know are more people understanding what's at stake here? You know, I, we're not going to know that for a little while, but um, but I think that will be really interesting to watch. All right. And real quick, while we still have you, uh, do you think that Congress will actually try to codify, uh, make a federal law protecting abortion rights, or could it go the other way? Well, I think Schumer has said that they're going to vote again uh, to codify Roe. The, the thing is, under current Senate rules, with the filibuster, they just don't have the votes for that. So then the question will become, do they try to change Senate rules? You know, the risk there is that you know Republicans might regain power in November, and there has been talk um, as I reported earlier this week, of a national abortion ban. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a risky game to play, and, and we'll have to watch closely and see how that plays out. We appreciate you watching all of that. Caroline Kitchener with The Washington Post, thank you. To stay up to date with developments on this story and the battle over abortion rights, read all of Caroline's reporting online at WashingtonPost.com.